Topic of today is trenbolone, trenacetate, all esters and anthate, trenhex, whatever. I'm just going to talk about my personal experience with it, my opinion on it, potential things to uh, look out for. Nothing's conclusive with trend. They haven't done enough. There's no like definitive human studies that prove that it does what some of the things you've heard on forums that it does as far as kidney damage or you know the trend cough is from this factor or that factor, etc. So once once again anything with bodybuilding guys is mostly anecdotal and then it's uh, cause and effect. You just put things together. So trend in my opinion is the powerhouse the ultimate compound one could use whether off season or pre contest. And this is from my experience from what I've seen from others who have partaken in trend usage and myself. And it's it's uncomparable in my opinion. Some people try to compare it to MPPs like a poor man's trend or a mild trend. No, it's not. Nothing like it uh, in my opinion of course and trend does come with a list of side effects and everyone's heard things from trendsomnia where you can't sleep at night you have sweats trend cough which really no one knows the true culprit of that whether it's a home brew we used to do phenoplex pellets back in the day cattle implants could it have been byproducts of that fillers and binders it's just not aspirating there's a lot of factors for the trend cough but there's a lot of things that people have said about trend that's not necessarily proven for me personally never had crazy side effects Never had crazy anxiety or mood swings. Never raged on people or whatever people say. Never really had the night sweats to a great degree. Uh, the cough was here and there, mostly from the homemade Phenoplex cartridges. Uh, I think it might have something to do with the fillers, binders, the benzyl, benzoinate, and all that stuff that people would do to or use to, to make it. But it was very infrequent. And for me, honestly, that product, I can say at one of my contests, I won in state overall, and this is the honest to God truth, on just a half cc of trend every day, nothing else. I was in a predicament or in a situation where I didn't have access to anything else, and I can only do, I did Phenoplex, I've converted my own uh, pellets into trend balloon acetate, and all I did was a half cc a day, which is about 37.5 milligrams every day. The weekly total is pretty minuscule, but it was such a powerful product that I won the San Francisco overall in 2009. Was I huge? No, I was only like 207, I was shredded. And my hypothesis was, I was one of my driest looks. Of course, I wasn't that full because I was on one little compound and you know what I had some weird other injuries that year, et cetera, some hardships, but I figured, well, hey, I didn't have testosterone and EQ and all these other things in the equation. And then whenever you have those things that aromatize, you need to do then anti-estrogens to control your estrogen. Then maybe prolactin issues. People use Dostinex or Bromocryptin or whatever. I didn't have any of that. So my theory was like, well, I was one of my driest looks and I only used to use one little compound. I think that was because there was less variables. I didn't have X plus Y plus Z drugs to counteract the other drugs. So with just that one variable, Trin's a hardener. Trends a mass gaining compound. Think about it. It's used to bulk up cattle in a hurry. It's androgenic, anabolic profile, scores 500, 500, whereas test is 100, 100. It's, it's very, very potent, as you can imagine. Now, some people might get elevated high blood pressure from it, and that could indirectly affect your kidneys, and you could have kidney problems from chronic use of trend. I will give you a story. Since trend was so readily available back when the Phenoplex uh, pellets were in vogue and easy to access you know whenever I was younger we're cheaper we didn't have a lot of money for products we decided to homebrew and and go a little higher usually the dose was a half cc 37.5 and then if you want to do 75 milligrams a day well hey you know we're gonna try that but we actually decided to do an experiment and this is the only time I ever did this I couldn't handle it I did hundred and fifty milligrams a day of homemade trend and within seven days, we were playing Halo, the video game, because Halo was big back then, big competition tournaments, and my hands would be so numb. It was almost like a growth hormone numbing effect, and it was probably water retention or high blood pressure or something insane, and I had to just get the heck off of it. I lowered the dose back to a half cc, and I was like, scratch that, I'm not gonna tough this out. Obviously, your body's telling you something, it's not agreeing with it. So in that case, 
when I ran at that high that one time years ago, I had some bad side effects, man. I couldn't play a video game. I was like limping. I was gimping. Not limping. I was gimp, gimp, gimping. So that is not advisable. Uh, everyone's tolerance is different. Everyone's uh, side effect threshold is different. But for me, if you use it a small, tiny amount, I never had side effects that was noticeable um, in, in normal, sane amounts, and the results were phenomenal. Uh, in my, and also, in my opinion, I think there's a good synergy. I think there's a good um, reason to use Stanozolo or Winstrel with Trin. I think Trin and Winstrel pre-contest is, is amazing. I think it's just a great collaboration. I, do, I did really well with Winstrel. Some people don't like it, they get achy joints. Well, that's debatable too, as far as the collagen synthesis reduction, all that stuff. I never got that. That was one of my strongest ever, just on Winstrel only. And that's another in the car altogether when I just did an only Winnie cycle, which was amazing. So, Trenbolone, as far as Enanthate or Hex or Acetate, I think uh, the Acetate's the smartest way to go, or the Hex, because the Hex is about medium acting compared to the three. The Acetate's the fastest acting, and you want to always get in and get out. If you have side effects with Acetate, you can abort. You can abort the mission, and you can, that's why when I was doing the 150 for like uh, seven days, I could instantly, it was Acetate, so I could instantly uh, back, or go back and lower my dose and I could get out of there because it would leave my blood faster. But if I was on an anthate, I'd almost be trapped. So yes, a trin and anthate can have, I think, a harsher side effect profile because it's in your blood longer with the ester attached to it. Trin is a serious compound. I would try to limit its usage. I would never use an off season. That's what I, I never did. I, I knew instinctively this stuff is this powerful to bulk up cattle in a hurry. I'm probably not gonna be using this. Some people use trend replacement therapy. I've heard crazy abusers out there that, that use trend as almost a replacement dose year round to stay lean, stay hard, because they can eat more and all that stuff. And that's just a lazy mentality and very reckless. Use it very sporadically right before your show, six weeks out, not in the off season. That's my best advice. This was all just my opinion and my thoughts, and you can take it with a grain of salt or whatever, but that is what I'm going to say about Trend Balloon for right now. <laughs>